Good morning, folks. Several things to cover today. Good chance of CME impact before tomorrow's show. Big quake in the South Pacific. Eye candy from Chandra. The rapid nature of major changes. And two excellent ones on solar forcing of human health. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and it was a much quieter day by comparison. Had a few more M-class solar flares, including one from the incoming sunspots this morning, but no significant eruptive activity. Not like we had in our reports yesterday, anyway. But indeed, that previous blast is on its way to Earth. As we said both in the morning and afternoon shows yesterday, the long-duration M9 solar flare from the departing active region sunspots released a large and wide burst CME that will give Earth a glancing blow. That is expected by forecasters to arrive late tonight, technically early tomorrow UTC time. It was one of the biggest eruptions of plasma in the SDO era, 13 years to the day after the great early June CME of 2011. This is already being called one of the most beautiful sights from the sun in the modern satellite observation period, and SOHO coronagraph showed the proton storm and CME eruption with the halo component, which means the Earth will take impact. Luckily, it will just be from the edge of the blast, a glancing blow. NOAA's Enlil spiral here shows the event, which again is expected to arrive tonight, and they forecast a level 2 geomagnetic storm. While Earth may take a slightly stronger disruption, this single half-indirect shockwave isn't scary and shouldn't produce the kind of light show we got last month. We'll be watching the solar wind and magnetometers tonight. Quick note on seismicity. Just a bit ago, a big quake shook the Antarctic Fault in the South Pacific. Luckily, nobody out there and no civilization to take damage. So, we go to space, where Chandra zoomed in on Westerland 1, one of the closest and most spectacular clusters in the galaxy. They've combined optical images with their X-ray view to offer a new composite showing how there are both big, massive, quiet stars and smaller, much more active ones. Interesting article in Nature discussing how rapidly major changes can occur after long periods of stability. They end up saying that periodically, the eons of slow change that are the norm get punctuated with massive changes in as little as a human lifetime. Nice little nod to the disaster cycle there. Up next, yet another study showing that solar storms impact heart rate variability, with the finding here that women are vastly more sensitive and reactive to those geophysical impacts. Sidestepping just a bit, we find a similar correlation with solar activity and leukemia, with the correlation strengthening over time and with the lag time shortening. That could certainly be related to the geomagnetic changes ongoing, leaving the Earth more vulnerable to this space energy. We greatly appreciate your support. Awaiting CME impact tonight, we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.